guys, what is up? It's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a testing video. If you guys saw my IUD experience video, you would know that my skin has been going through a ton of issues lately. I've really been researching and looking into some products that would help reduce my texture and also prevent some breakouts. And I came across this little guy. So this is the Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution and a lot of people I think were attracted to this because it is a bright red mask and it looks like you are just putting blood on your face. I'm going to read to you guys because I don't remember off the top of my head. AHA is alpha hydroxy acid derived from sugarcane and other plant sources. It helps to stimulate collagen and it exfoliates and increases the shedding of dead surface skin cells. And then BHA is beta hydroxy acid and that is an oil soluble acid that gets down into the pores and cuts through oil the most common one is salicylic acid it is known to fight bacteria so this is like a solution that you're gonna put on your face and it's just gonna bulldoze through all the junk and crap that's in your skin and it is so strong that you're not even supposed to leave it on for more than 10 minutes so I really didn't want to do a testing video that was just like one and done because then you're not really gonna be able to see results so I used this treatment for a month so if you guys want to see the results of my skin then go ahead and keep on watching so I just removed my makeup and washed my face and I wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like I wanted to get up close and personal so that you guys can like really see what I'm struggling with right now and this is so 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 much better than it was it's like an unbelievable difference I have been testing the ordinaries niacinamide the past couple of days and I will say that I have already seen a difference in my skin back to what I was saying and this isn't sponsored either by the way they didn't send me this stuff nothing I just wanted to test it so this is what my skin looks like I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera so that you guys can really see there is that side and then I will go over to this side this side is a lot worse I don't really know what it is because I don't sleep on this side so I'm still trying to figure out why this side is a lot worse I am a little sick right now too so I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird but you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see it actually yeah you can see when I do that like against the light I think but I'm struggling with a lot of texture on this side and until I got that IUD I've never ever struggled with textures so I really hope to clear it up and I really hope that this helps but if you guys are struggling with your skin I hope that maybe this video will help you out a little bit and yeah that's really all I hope to gain from a video like this I will be your little guinea pig now that I'm done blabbing and talking it says clean face and wait for skin to dry so my skin is pretty dry while I was kind of talking and explaining to you guys. It says leave on for no more than 10 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer for 8 I think. Also my phone's broken so that's why it sounds like that. Just because my skin is pretty sensitive I think 8 minutes will be okay. Hopefully it's not too much. Okay I guess we're just gonna go for it. Oh I'm nervous. Oh my god. Oh, okay. All right. It looks like blood. It looks like I'm bleeding from my head. Oh my god, it itches so bad. Okay, I think that this is probably a good amount. I don't think that you should put too much on. Start the timer for eight minutes. Here we go. I feel like I'm getting a chemical peel right now. Oh my god. It's not as bad as a legitimate chemical peel. The chemical peels feel the same. It's just a lot more intense.
later here we are and my skin is slowly but surely getting better and I do think that this has played a very large role in helping with the texture of my skin. Do I think that it is the whole reason why my skin looks so different from before and after? No because if you guys did watch my IUD video then you'd know that I got my IUD removed about three months ago and it can take up to three months for all of the hormones that were in your system to get out. So I do think all those hormones finally getting out of my system did play a large role in my skin clearing up but I do think that this definitely helped and if you are struggling with your skin then I would highly recommend this product because I have really really sensitive skin. I am very prone to breakouts if I try something new. This did not irritate it or break it out so this is a keeper and I'm going to be continuing to use it and it looks really cool when you put it on which is a plus. You guys so. enjoyed and I hope I helped you out a little bit if you were kind of going back and forth between getting this product or not getting this product if you did like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and i will see you all in my next video bye guys